Okay, folks, part two here. Um, let's see, what do I want to do here? I'm looking at this piece. Uh, looking okay, I think. Uh, that piece there is good. Um, I can technically delete this face here, okay, because um, by the looks of it, I'm going to add all this. But for now, maybe I'll leave it, okay? So, one thing to remember here, I may just taper this edge a bit more. Um, let's see here. Oops, I'm using my mouse. Not good. Okay, let's get the stylus back. Here we go. Okay, edge. Let's, let me just taper that a touch more. Okay, I'm going to double click here and W and bring that in. So I'm going to have almost like a double edged sword. Okay, so I may think of, and then what I'll do is I'll just drop that down a touch. Okay, see there? So I'm going to maybe drop it a bit more and over. So yeah, it's kind of like, ooh, danger. That's seriously dangerous here. Okay, looking down here, that looks good. Bigger blade here. And at this tip here, uh, ooh, uh, yeah, that's not bad, not bad. Okay, cool. It's all four-sided, working. Okay, so object mode, and I'm just going to make a new file here. And demo six. And UVW, UV unwrap. Okay, that's a 3ds Max term, but we just say UV unwrap. Okay, cool. I think. Okay, so uh, at this point, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you this this tool here, which is over here, Create UVs Planner. Can you lower there? Thank you. Planner. And double click here and bounding box. I think it's on the Z axis. So let's look at this. So this is the Z axis, and planner means flat view, the view I'm looking at. Bounding box, and I'm going to say apply. <laughs> Stop. Command Z, of course. Let's just assign a new. Okay, let's just do this. Oops. Object, Valiant, come on. Here's my piece. And I need to assign a new material so I don't get my background there. New material, Lambert, and I'm going to call this sword. Uh, actually, blade. Blade runner. Blade. And what I'll do right now is actually as well edit. This is important. Delete by type history. And then you want to see that, you want to make sure that the pivot is okay, and this one is. So, blade Lambert, good to go. And you guys can add a color if you want, and blue steel. Oh, yeah. There it is. There's my steel. And I'm going to go to shading, uh, wireframe on shaded. Oh, baby. And there it is. And I'm going to go to control A here. And that's my, I'm going to make a new layer with this piece right now. And just go, yep, there it is. I'm going to double click it, call it blade. I'm going to call it geo first. We can't repeat the same name, underscore uh, blade. Okay, so that's there. Give it a color. There it is. Cool. So there it is. Mm. Now, Select this piece, go to Create UVs, Planner Mapping, and there it is. And I'm going to go into Edit UV, UV Texture Editor, and let's look at it. Ho, 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 yeah. So this is pretty much stretched, all right? I mean squashed. So first thing, right-click UV, select all this. And I'm going to actually now stretch it myself, R. And I'm going to try to do something like this. Because I try to bring it in the X, and I'm just going to continue. Wow, eh? Look at that, folks. So, proportionally, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so I'm looking at my piece here. Uh, let's just bring it over here. I think it could go a bit more. Let's do that. Let's go a touch more, and maybe in a bit. Okay, so ideally, this isn't bad. Obviously, it's, the proportions are off right now. So, select. And I'm just going to come over here. Uh, this tool here where it does a little bit of extra unfolding for you. Okay, so look at that. And then I can do a little touch of relax, which is craziness, or just leave it. This looks good. All right, so a couple things right off the bat. I'm going to get out of this. This tool is dangerous. Say out in terms of W to get out of it. Otherwise, you're going to be in the tool for a long time. So down here, I'm looking at this. They're not aligned, right? So I'm going to take this piece here, two and three together. I'm going to align left side like that. If this did not work, it's because you are not in UV mode. If you are in vertex mode, for example, watch, I'm just going to come over here and do this. And I'm going to select this guy here. And this one, I'm going to go right align, please. Didn't work. The reason it didn't work, because we are not in UV. So if I go over here, 
here and select and this one here and let's align left boom done excellent excellent so I'm gonna take this one here this one here in the left one and left the line and push it a touch yeah cool take this one up and then bring it down over okay so that's cool everything's looking good you can take all of these in the Furial perfectionist and to the right see you can just go across and whoa oh baby come over here and now I'm gonna go to the right it's good to the right to the left doesn't matter this is good a line that kind of thing okay so and this line here the horizontal line let's just go to the top this way top please thank you sweet see that that look that looks good okay and let's see this one here we can align to the left thank you to the left as well boom and these ones I don't mind here okay now this is interesting here so let's pay more attention to what's going on I don't know what this is right now but I'm have a feeling I'm gonna grab this vert here now where is that it's the back okay so that means this piece needs to unfold a bit more there you go and then I'll leave that and I'll bring this part in a bit okay so we, we just want it to be um, consistent in terms of its depth okay so I'm just gonna come over here and do that okay so that's not bad uh, it's okay no good it's all good okay so I'm gonna take all of this now and um, let's see I can rotate go vertical horizontal doesn't matter so I'm gonna press R and this time I'm gonna scale from the inside holding shift okay so I kept my proportions people okay W and again your zoom tools works uh, whoa, whoa, whoa what did I just do that was scary stuff uh, <laughs> okay as you can see same as in Maya you can zoom in here as over there okay so I'm gonna press R again and R and just a touch more here okay W slide and I'm gonna bring it up here for a bit so you can see it's still sticking out a bit no problem all right cool uh, if you wanted to you can rotate this this way and bring it down to fit in the vertical sense okay oh boy W uh, there we go okay so you can see here if I just press R just a touch and I oh no 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 that's not yeah that's okay okay and bring it in here you go it's inside the zero one space okay so that's cool um, I know what else I can do that I think that's pretty good so what I want to do now is uh, sunny what I want to do now is continue modeling uh, other pieces let me just double check here how many minutes eight minutes okay so I can continue more so this piece is done so what I should do right now is save everything close that uh, command shift s uv2 Okay. Oh, two. So this piece is done. So, if, you know what? I'm gonna shut it down. You guys can. I can upload this quickly. Thanks, guys. Ballying out right now. All right. Cheers.